Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be featuring Alolan Sandslash in the Catch Cup meta. Uh, Alolan Sandslash is interesting uh, because there is a lack of Azumarils and Galarian Sun for the most part compared to regular Open Ultra League, uh, Open Great League I should say. And the trainer we're going to be featuring is Mark Sun. He is a Twitch streamer, up and coming. Definitely check him out. I'm sure once he comments on this video. I will include, uh, I will pin the comment so you can definitely take a look. He's going to be leading a Lolan Sand Slash into Skarmory, a fantastic lead as a Steel type. It does resist the air slashes. Oh man, get out of there. Please get out of there. Okay, so this is a fantastic switch him. Uh, uh, Sunny Cast Worm can't really do anything to uh, Altaria. Um, I don't think he can fully farm down because those Weather Balls still hurt. They still add up. Ember is not a great move. It's not a terrible move, but it's not a great move by any stretch of the imagination. So it looks like going to commit to the farm down. But this Altair is getting dangerously low. And looks like actually just going to throw the Sky Attack. Makes sense. Looks like to try to undercharge. Um, I would probably just throw the Dragon Pulse here because it's very unlikely that the... Altaria will get to another move, but they end up shielding anyways for some reason. I'm not sure why. And gonna go into Sand Slash for sure. And then eventually gonna throw this Ice Punch. Very nice. Takes a decent chunk. Hits for neutral damage. We're gonna see. Hopefully it doesn't have Flash Cannon. <laughs> that would be that would be nuts. And then here comes uh, another Ice Punch. And they shield again, okay. It probably could survive that Sky Attack, but it would might, might get Air Slash down afterwards. It would be very close, and if they're going to farm extra, makes sense. This Ice Punch should be enough to KO. Sand Slash is kind of squishy, so we're going to see what's in the back. Oh, it is a Whimsicott. And um, yeah, this Ice Punch is going to hurt a lot. And going to go into Talk Show, which takes neutral damage from the Charms. Can honestly just throw the Mud Bomb here, but just flex to show off that you have two moves. Boom, Sludge Bomb. Yeah, Mud Bomb definitely would have killed. <laughs> Even though it's resisted, uh, the Whimsicott was at like 5 HP then. Okay, this is not a good lead. Not a good lead at all. So gonna go straight into Toxicroak. Okay, gonna be met by Electivire. This is playable. Shield? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, no shield. That's kind of nuts. Shield now? Okay, gonna no shield again? What's in the back? That did so much damage. Now, now he's gonna have to shield a night slash, right? What was he expecting that to be? But he should be able to beat this Obstagoon. We'll just see what's in the back. Kind of weird to bring in Obstagoon here unless they have a fire type in the back or another fighter. Let's see. Should KO? Oh yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh god. Oh wow. Okay. I haven't seen someone uh, run so quickly from a fight. <laughs> that was that was a very quick uh, quick leave. Okay. Whimsicott. Not the. It's pretty bad, but um, it's better to draw it out now, I guess, than against the Altaria. And goes for the Sludge Bomb. Yeah, that makes sense. Gonna have to shield and farm down. You definitely want to farm down. Shield this. Even though it's a Grass Knot, you still want... Oh, it's Moonblast. It's Moonblast. You, you still want health on your Sand Slash. Commit to the farm down. Okay. Did they just come Sand Slash into? What? What? Oh, 
Oh man, I think he just farmed down and the sky attacked this sand slush. I'm pretty sure this thing only has cross chop. Yeah, it definitely only has cross chop. Double sky attack? Probably can. Man, this person uh, made some. Um... Yeah. Um. That was a very iffy decision. But I guess they, they thought they would have to shield Machamp because of the ice punches. All right. Let's see. Sand Slash into Obstagoon. Let's see how they're going to play this. Go straight into Altaria. Oh, okay. Going to be met by Knocked Owl. Um, Altaria can win this match. Um, it's kind of close in the one shield. But that's when they're at even energy. Because um, Knocked Owl does slightly outpace... Um, Altaria, but without that energy advantage, without that being an even energy and being an energy disadvantage, this will be a much more difficult match for. Uh... So okay, I was gonna say you don't need to shield that and still live, but um, this is guarantees to win switch, especially with the lag. Let's see if they come back, Obstagoon. Whoa, okay. Very good timing, but let's see how they're gonna play this out. Oh my goodness, why did she, why did she go in obstacle into Toxic Row? Why is she throwing a cross chop? Okay, Razor Leaf, playable. Okay. Lucario. Okay. Not concerned about the Shadow Ball. It makes sense, like... It, it makes sense in the sense that, like, the only way you for sure lose the one shield matchup is shielding a power-up punch, then getting hit by the... But now they're going to pop here. It's probably not even worth shielding. Yeah. It's definitely not worth but you're gonna lose switch but the thing is like if you shield the pump you can probably make it to uh, the sky attack and then force a second shield we should see the whimsical come back in but the oh, oh okay I think you just throw sludge bob okay I think you just sack um, yeah this is game, this is the game plan it should be relatively straightforward okay Gonna, um, probably just throw in the sludge bomb because I don't I'm not sure you're gonna come back to it but let's see yeah but this game's over like um, sand slash was gonna sweep anyways but yeah again like I don't think you're, you're gonna come back even into uh, maybe you are but two shields up, right? Or one shield. Yeah, I guess they'll come back to talk to But I think throwing the sludge bomb and leaving was uh, perhaps the slightly better play, but still worked out. That way, like, you don't have to be concerned about, like, s sacking it later or whatever, right? So you get the full value of it. Okay, so this is not great. If you get the bulldoze, obviously in the zero shield, this is pretty good. But in this type of shielding scenario... Okay, gonna go straight for the ice punch. Interesting. Does a lot. But these do a lot as well. They probably have Magna Bomb here. Yeah, makes sense. Hits for neutral. And they win CMP. Let's 
see if they shield. They should barely not KO the Magneton, but... Oh, oh, oh man, okay. They were very slow to switch. Very nice aggressive switch. Comes the Mud Bomb. Counter, an extra counter came through. Ooh, they're not gonna shield this, interesting. Are they gonna drag it right down? They should be able to make it a sky attack beforehand, but. Nope, okay. I guess I underestimate how much energy the they had. Here comes. Oh, they tried to sack, okay. Well, that definitely did not work. Okay. Both these players are trying to get fancy here. Okay. Um, it's still an Altaria's game. Like, this, unless this Obscure boosts here. Or has Hyper Beam. If it has Hyper Beam. Gunk Shot. Okay. I'm not necessarily sure that's the right play. But let's see. Um, gunk Shot 75. So probably could have got off three Night Slashes. Gunk Shot is more energy efficient than a Night Slash. But okay. We have the sand slash mirror match. All right, let's see how they're gonna play this. Gonna go straight for the bulldoze, no baiting. It doesn't one shot, but it does a lot of damage. Let's see if they're gonna shield. Okay, he does shield. I am not sure this ice punch KOs, it's double resisted. Definitely does not. Go straight for another bulldoze. Hmm. Kind of a iffy situation because, like, as a Skarmory, you can. Um, but the thing is, like, you're you're down to one Pokemon after this, right? So, depends on how you want to play this because you can technically no shield and farm down and be left at like almost no HP. Let's just look at looks like what they're doing. Nope. Okay. Maybe the Scrum is not that great. Also might get Dragon Breath down now. So you definitely have to just blind throw the Sky Attack. Okay. Or or not. Uh, okay. Interesting. An Electric type. Looks like Rolon Raichu. Gonna go for the Sky Attack. It is resisted, but this should be... Um, this should be game then. Even if they know, sh like a wild charge. Oh yeah, it doesn't quite KO at this range. Yeah. Probably could have safely shielded there to be honest, but it worked out fine. Okay, so great lead. Gonna be met by They got baited there, but still in an okay spot. Like uh, this Sunfist will be able to, uh, will it be able to make it to an earthquake? It'll be very close. And then the Toxicro will probably commit to countering down. And then we'll see Altaria come back in. The Sludge Bomb will hurt, but it definitely won't KO. Interesting. They decide to shield there. This should be, yeah, another sludge bomb. It does like about like over half for sure. Let's see if they throw the sky attack or not. No, I'm gonna switch. Oh, rapid ash. That's very bad. Unfortunately, couldn't get a single incinerate off. This should probably be a flame charge. Yeah, this Alteria can just uh, literally farm down this this Rapid Ash. Um, and then we'll see who wins CMP, but it doesn't really matter because this um, it has way too much health. Yeah, this Sky Attack will KO. Um, this Alteria probably has two. 
Nope, not quite. Okay, that's gonna be GG. Okay, not a great lead. Should be CMP here to the mud bomb. Potentially trying to build up to two. It should be one short of two. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're not throwing. Maybe looking to farm down? Okay, makes sense. Blind Blizzard? Oh, okay. Let's see what comes in. It's gonna be Skarmory. At a shield advantage, but when shields are up, Altaria has a pretty decent matchup against uh, Skarmory despite the typing disadvantage. And this Skarmory looks like it's not that great. It's taking so much damage. It will definitely, I don't, I, I, I don't want to say it definitely has a shield because it doesn't, um, but it would be very low otherwise. Uh, this sky attack probably doesn't KO. Uh, and the Skarmory will have to shield. Oh, whoa, no, never mind. Oh, got countered down. With a shield, though, did the Skarmory not have a move? It's a pretty close game. Okay, well, pretty close to being lagged out. Oh, they got, <laughs> they got the third shield. Um, going for another Mud Bomb. Honestly, the power whip will probably KO here. Almost KO. It probably didn't matter too much because, well, maybe that's sludge bomb range. Because if they were to shield the first time, definitely wouldn't have made it to the sludge bomb, but it is what it is. All right, Sand Slash into uh, Shadow Victory Bell. It's a very good lead. Here comes Lantern. Um, Toxtro can definitely control switch advantage here, and they, they get to the moves roughly around the same time. Oh, we're gonna no shield that. Okay, interesting. I guess switch advantage is not overly important in this situation. Oh man, KO through the shield. That's it. That's absolutely terrible for them. That is... That is very bad for them. I think you definitely go Sand Slash here. You go Altaria if you want as well. Yeah. Altaria would have been fine too. Ah, it doesn't really matter. I don't think so. Oh, they acid, <laughs> acid spray. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. Kind of madman. Is uh, running acid spray on their. Uh... Okay, tell me they're running acid spray power up punch. Okay, foul play. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, Scrafty, and your acid spray. Come on. Get the heck out of here. Thank you, Mark, for sending me those battles. I think Olin Sand Slash, pretty interesting. Obviously, has to be careful of fire and fighting. Uh, but without GFS and a zoom roll, it definitely runs a little bit safer. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. If you like this video, forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.